Hi EF, I'm Monica Estrada. I'm 17 years old and I'm a senior at Streamwood High School. I love learning about different cultures, which is why I'm a part of the World Language and International Studies Academy at my school. Being a student at this academy has offered me the unique opportunity to learn about Japanese language and culture, which is why this summer I was able to travel to Japan. On this trip, I visited several schools and was able to experience firsthand the differences and similarities in our education systems. One of the most eye-opening moments was when I attended an abacus class. This is what I saw. Students were doing calculations with an infinite amount of numbers in a fraction of a time than I could with a calculator. Their secret? This 500-year-old tool, which they call a soroban. But ask yourselves, why does Japan, a leading country in technology, still require students to learn off one of these? Well, it turns out that a soroban is so much more than an engaging math tool. It is a tool that aids in the development of critical thinking skills, something I feel students from around the world could benefit from. As an avid volunteer at a local elementary school and a math tutor to a third grader, what I have noticed is that today's generation of students would much rather obtain the answer to a problem instead of fully thinking of how to solve the problem. I believe that this is a huge issue because today's generation of students are tomorrow's generation of leaders, leaders that we hope will one day provide a solution to our global issues. But if these students continue down the road of simply obtaining answers rather than fully thinking for a solution, how will they be able to? I believe that my innovative idea is a solution to this problem. It is called Sori with the Soroban. It consists of allowing students from first grade to begin a program where they are taught the basics of a Soroban. From then on, they will work on improving their skills by achieving three levels of the program. The program would then extend to the end of second grade, where students would have mastered the concept of mathematics through the Soroban, thus creating a base to their critical thinking skills for years to come. As a trial period for Soaring with the Soroban, I visited Boards Park Elementary School to see how educators and students would react to my idea. This is what Mrs. Winters, the vice principal of the school, had to say. We'll improve it because if students cannot mentally figure that out, they can actually look at this what you've made them, this advocates, and work it out that way. So it will not only improve education here, but it will improve education around the world because students learn differently. And after spending about 30 minutes with a group of first graders teaching them the basics of a Soroban, this is what they had to say. It's a fast way to do math. Do you guys think it's easier? Is it fun? Yeah. Overall, the school's response was nothing but positive. I was even offered the opportunity to make Soaring with the Soroban an after-school program. I am passionate about my idea because I believe that it can not only improve students' math scores, but positively change students' mindset and ultimately create a generation of critical thinkers ready to take on any global issue. To me, a global citizen is one that is able to take positive outside influences and incorporate them to benefit their community. So EF Tours, I hope you will grant me the opportunity to attend this year's Leadership Summit so that I may collaborate with international peers and so that together we can create a system where students can soar.